welcome back. Um, I just wanted to do a little overview of uh, my heroes, or my monsters, uh, in the game. And as you can see, my name is Wendigo. So let's go ahead and take a look through the list view, and I'll show you who I have. So I have a total of seven mythics, as you can see up here. And the ones that I think are good is the XY450M. Uh, because he has the uh, the Ion Field 2, Stun Absorb. And uh, he's got Chrono Killer, which kills uh, monsters with Give Turn. And a Cobalt Colding, which gives him more defense. Uh, Anglo Maiden has uh, the Revival, so you can revive your, uh, your teammate that has died in battle. But that's all she's useful for, other than her Divine Intervention, which heals your entire party. Uh, if they're low on HP, it's great, but if they're not, it's basically a waste. Uh, I do have a Zeta. I got her out of the, f the Festival Egg just recently. Um, you'd have to awaken this, so basically you need to get a 7-star in order for her to be useful. Um, yeah, because one of the question marks is uh, an attack that will do... Uh, a lot of damage uh, if they have 70% or higher, whereas the second variant, which is the 6-star, not Awaken, well, you'd have to have 100% in order to, to even use the attack, so it's it's a huge difference. The Plumeha Hemoth uh, has a Stun Absorb, so it can uh, stop enemies from uh, using stun moves, but his seconds will be, or... This animal seconds will be increased by a lot. And then you have Persephia, who uh, is a throw monster, but a really bad one. It doesn't do much damage. Kana is a mortar user, so he's got revive and pierce, which breaks through hold ground or shield. Um, Awaken probably would be able to one shot creatures, but overall just okay. And the Kunami is just terrible. Um, and as you can see in my legendaries, I got the new Enigma Tail, which, uh, I seen it in use by another YouTuber, and, uh, it's bad. Because it can only attack the four elements, you know, the, the earth, the uh, water, the fire, and, uh, the storm. But it doesn't do anything to holy or death monsters. So, I mean, it's just not good. I got the Shiny Oak Thulu. That's my share monster, he looks really cool. And the shiny ones are very exclusive, so I don't think you can even get him anymore. But it's a shiny version of uh, the regular Cthulhu. I got Spectrofin. The AI doesn't really do a good job um, when you're uh, using auto battle with this monster. But uh, if you manually use him, uh, he could be useful. Rune Dragon is one of my favorites. He looks cool, and he has Confidence Strike and Sonic Strike, which do critical damage. Uh, when you go up in a higher, the higher AI, which is like the hell mode or difficult, the, the higher difficulties, he doesn't one-shot them. And um, he's a good sweeper for like, if you want to farm materials, but I don't think he's very good in terms of uh, one-shotting the higher ranked creatures in the game. I got Moku, who's one of the best closers in PvP. I put him in the 16th slot. He can one-shot all the characters uh, if he's the only one left and there's no reinforcements. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you'd have to pair him up with the Death Gazer in order for him to be very useful because it, it makes him his moves faster because he's kind of a slow monster. But he's very tanky. Crimson Beast, not too great. It's a solo monster. You can't have the same element to use um, attacks, although he does have a Dreamy Entrance, which puts a character to sleep, and you can use Solo Dream Hunt. But, uh, I, I think it's just okay. Dracarosa, of course, a classic. Purifying Mist helps your team survive. Um, it's basically a, a camouflage. Um, they can't be hit by, uh, dual moves or more. He can, uh, he counters, uh, poison users with Defang. And if he gets killed, he'll use Double Blood Crave, which is pretty good, but, um... He struggles against camouflage users because he has dual moves. He got stun immunity and hold ground is not bad. Uh, 
uh, Giramurai, more of a PvP hero. Um, he's not very good for uh, PvE content, but he does have Overconfident Strike, which will one-shot hold ground users. I got this guy. He's really good for PvP as well. Uh, it's um, Infernicorn when it's, it's maxed out, but I don't have the Omega Mids yet. A Catmander, good for PvP, not not for PvE. Once he uses the Niku Punch, the Dark Bane, and the Light Bane, he can use the Nico Finisher, which does critical damage, but he'll get killed off before he even uses Nico Finisher, unless you have a good Protector, but if they have Wall Breaker, they'll kill off the Protector. Um, another low, uh, Lone Motor user. Um, this guy's okay. He can uh, use Fast Strike, or stun uh, if their enemy has a stun, uh, a stunner on their team, he could basically uh, do critical damage to that. Um, this guy's awful. His, uh, Tesla Coil is the final form. He, could, he can consume some creatures, but he's very slow, and people just avoid killing him because he's just useless. But if you avoid him for too long, uh, he used Devastate, which would do a lot of damage. But I mean, they'll kill him eventually before he gets to that stage. Colobos, I don't have him ascended. Um, he's really good because he has Crescendo Strike, and every time he attacks, he gets Life Drain. So if he has Hold Ground, so when he goes down to 1 HP, he could use Attack, he'll heal health, then they have to get him to Hold Ground again. So he does get countered by Poison. He doesn't have a way to, to uh, purify himself, so if you pair him with a Purifier, I think he'll be pretty useful in a tank, of course, an auto protector. Uh, I got this guy for free. Nox Dragon, I think it's for um, one of the story missions. I collected him. I, I know he's good for PvE with a Demon Toad, a Nova Drake, and a uh, Zulong. Uh, the problem with him is that he uh, he has a lot of seconds. So. When you use Overwatch on him, you could use Assessive Dust twice, but he's gonna ha he's gonna have a lot of seconds again. So if you pair him with an Overwatch user like the Razor Storm, he could uh, do really well in like uh, time attack events and some other small events. Uh, Dual Gazer is one of the best in the game. You can one shot because of the hold ground uh, uh, from uh, excessive force that will go through hold ground. He's great. He kills camouflage users and um, once he's uh, in fast uh, attacker, so you could skip a turn and then they get a move. If it's a long second, he could time strike, kill him. Um, he's very situational though, so you'd have to put him only against camouflage opponents. Like he'll kill off the safety stack, which is one of the most annoying tanks in the game with camouflage. Uh, as Razel. Average has zealous attack. It does a lot of damage, but takes a lot of damage in return. If you kill him, he has stun revenge. But if they have a stun absorber or stun immunity or even a, a stun converter, basically useless. This guy's good for PvP. He has purify. Uh, Ashterios is the final form name, and he can uh, he works well on a link team. I got uh, the wraith host, but it's a, a second form. Amazing with the 400 second Nova Blast, good on a one-on-one -on -one to delay, then he'll just uh, one shot with the 400 uh, second Nova Blast, it breaks the whole ground, so he'll definitely kill him. However, uh, if they do have camouflage or purifying messed up, it basically stops that from happening. State of Strike, good sleeper, one-on-one, uh, -on -one. him and uh, there's another guy named... Uh, uh, Oni Blade, and he has a one-on-one -on -one as well, but he has uh, better skills where he'll uh, do critical damage to one of your monsters if it's sleeping, whereas this hero just kind of delays the battle for Survivor and, um, uh, you know, the 400 second kind of moves. Uh, I don't have those guys, so that's why he's kind of useless for me right now. Uh, Terragar is a throw monster. Pretty average. Not terrible, but... Uh, Kills off your last monster, but does a lot of damage to uh, the enemy with throw. And uh, there's the Oak Thulu, the the green one. Pretty good as long as they don't have um, a poison immunity. And he's a little situational. They have camouflage. He's basically useless because he has dual moves. 
Emeraldus is a camouflage user. Uh, he's kind of tanky. Uh, he has Death Mark, Blood Fury, Accelerate, Counter Strike, and uh, he works well in a Link team because of the double retribution. If your characters die, two of them die, or one of them die, uh, retribution will do a lot of damage. Uh, Revan Archeon is only good paired up with an Aura Dragon. And Atrahasis, you kill him off, you revive him, and uh, he'll have a Nox Egg at the back and in the front, next in line. And when you have multiple copies of this guy, he could go off with his uh, Revenant Slash, one-shot anybody. Uh, it, will, it will kill anybody one-shot. Him with the Anku Dragon, I got rid of my Anku Dragon. Uh, once they die and they come back, they could really wreak havoc on the enemy team. Shiva Dragon's good. Um, Purify, he's got Hold Ground, and he's a Crescendo user, although if he gets knocked back, he's basically useless. And if they have poison, they can just poison him and get him hold ground and kill him easily. So, um, you, he's fast. But, um, you need to have, you need to set him up. And it's hard to do that. Um, Gravodius, eh. He could summon that little, um, what is it? The, the little, uh, Spragolu, which is, like, similar to, like, a Dragon Ball Z character. Uh, if he summons that little... Uh, the buddy entrance, if he summons the Spragolu, it'll do dual attack and it does a lot of damage, but uh, Gravodius is just kind of a tank. He doesn't really have any other supporting moves. I guess he could dual give turn, but he can only use it one time. I don't think he's that great. Polarian works on sleep teams, but uh, the hero is not as good as an Emblemronix because he can't have Payback Killer. And I think... Um, I don't think he's really that good because uh, I used him and he doesn't do really much anything. Um, Aegis Dragon, not tanky enough. He's a tank, he has auto protect, he has give turn, desperate bite, purify, decent moves, but a lot of creatures have protector killer and they just kill him in like one or two hits. I don't think he's that great. Uh, true hit, he can't protect against true hit which means they uh, are focusing one of the other three monsters. and I just think he's really slow. Not a very good hero overall. Uh, Atrahasis. He has Swift Cannibalize, right? You revive with Necromancy the Revenarchian. Um, if they kill off the Revenarchian, he gets the Nox Egg. Uh, you could Cannibalize the Nox Egg, and then you get two copies of that with Oro. Because uh, Oro, Dragon... Um, resummons him in the back, kill rear guard, and you can start sweeping. He works well with death monsters, so you can use the Demon Toad, Nox Dragon, uh, Nova Drake, and Azulong in some events, and they're pretty good together. This is a Dragaia. He has Last Bite, um, which will do critical damage to if he's the last one alive on your team, so you put him in the end. I don't know how good this guy is, but from what I heard, he's not very good, so I would avoid using him. The Necro Wing uh, involves into a Shadow Worm. It's an average monster. He works on Death Link teams, but that's pretty much it. I mean, he is a Protector Killer, and he's a Sleep Killer. Once you uh, kill off one of the monsters, you could start to uh, build up the Bloodthirst, which will do a lot of damage. The only problem is he doesn't have piercing, so he can't break through hold ground. Uh, so if you put him on, like, a, I don't know, a team that has poison, he might work. Flareburn's my uh, last legendary, and I'll, I'll go into the super epics in another vid. But uh, the Flareburn, I think he's a PvP monster. Once you kill a monster, the next one that comes in gets poisoned. He's immune to stun. He has true hit, so he can avoid the protectors. Um... He has knockback, but the problem with that move is it takes a lot of time for him to get another attack in later on, unless you have give turn. Uh, overall, he's situational, but at the same time, he's not a bad hero. Thank you, and uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, analysis of my, uh, my mythics and legendaries, and maybe I'll do a video on more legendaries that I don't own. Um, and then I'll have another video on my super epics and the epics, so stay tuned for that.